We're in the height of wedding season with summer still being the most popular month for couples to tie the knot. Pam Evans is a relationship strategist and author of Ring Exchange, Adventures of a Multiple Marrier. A multiple marrier is a person who has been married three times or more. Think Elizabeth Taylor and as we know, Kim Kardashian. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Quickly, kind of explain what a multiple marrier is, kind of a tongue twister there. And um, <laughs> you know, what this book a little is a little bit about. Sure, as you mentioned, multiple marriers are people who've been married three times or more. Five percent of us in the U.S. population today have been married that many times. You'll be happy to know that Pennsylvania is under the national average with only three percent multiple marriers. Well, that is a, a good statistic to be or to have. Um, what, you know, you were just telling me you've been married now five times in December. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Still married. <laughs> Still married. <laughs> what are some of those, you know, lessons you've learned over, you know, all those marriages? You were just talking a little bit about, you know, they're very valuable lessons. Right. I had four marriages and four divorces before my 50th birthday, and I stepped away from the altar and the bridal gown stores for 13 years so I could do some self-discovery and learn some lessons. And I realized that I did not have self-awareness or knowledge going into these marriages, that I did the work once I got into the marriage and tried to find myself. Uh, so I would always recommend vetting yourself making your own sunshine and vetting your partner too. Some of those people who do get married and then divorce kind of tend to shy away from the altar, shy away from relationships. What are some of the tips you can give people to kind of get back out there and, and meet somebody? I say the first thing to do is analyze the situation you left. To look at the pros and cons, look at the red flags you might have missed, and really look at yourself and do that homework. And I say strategize, come up with a flexible life plan and see how a partner would fit into that and never, never give up because you don't know what's around the corner. And there's probably a lot of good advice in this book. What's your most favorite part about, you know, this book and when somebody reads it who is going through something like this? Uh, what do you think they'll get from it? I think they'll get a lot of things. I think it's do the best you can. As I said before, make a life for yourself. Be grounded in yourself. Have interests, have passions, and know where you're going in life, and then you will attract the next best partner. All right. Well, Pam Evans, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have more information about this book on our website, fox43.com. It is 8.51, and thank you so much for joining us on Fox 43 Morning News. We'll be right back.